friends, welcome back to Aaron's Anxiety. I am your host Aaron, your personal guide through anxiety. Today, we're going to talk about a couple things, a couple ins and outs, a little bit of, little bit of uh, checking up on you guys, seeing how you guys are doing. Put it in the comments below, let me know how you're going. Uh, let me know if you just started taking something recently and how that's going for you, or if you've made a switch, okay, because that's another big one. If you've made a switch, there's a lot of things that can kind of coincide with that. So let me know how you're doing, if that is something that you're going through right now. And if that is something that you're going through right now, let me tell you that um, switching or starting is going to be a feat, but it is well worth it. It's going to be scary. It may be scary. I didn't say it's going to be. It may be scary, but just know that you absolutely can do it. You can do a lot more than you think that you can do, and it is worth it in the end, okay? So just throwing that out there. Okay, so an update on me and my story. I'm still doing the two and a half milligrams. Uh, I was thinking for a while that maybe I would want to stop and uh, see if I can wean myself off of it. So I ended up going like three or four days, which this is not good. Don't do this. Um, you know, it's my grandpa used to say, don't do what I do, do what I tell you to do. <laughs> you know, it's, a, it, it's, it's not something that I would recommend. But I ended up just changing my mind and going, you know what, I don't think I'm ready to be off of the medication. Um, so I just started taking, which it's nothing crazy. I've, you know, I've put my pills inside my other work van and had the van worked on with, without it for a couple days. That's not a big deal. So I'm not out of, uh, out of sync by any means. So I, it wasn't that big of a deal, but it's not recommended. So um, that being said, we're gonna keep going and I'm just not ready. But it's okay. You know, I, I always tell everybody, if I have to be on Lexapro for the rest of my life, I'm good with that. Like, it's not a big deal. It was a big deal for me when I used to have anxiety. Oh my God, I'm gonna have to be on something forever. But once that anxiety goes away, then you're like, yeah, that's fine, man. Why do I care? It's like $7 for two months supply. What do, what do I care, right? So that's, that's it. So other than that, before we get started on today's topic, uh, please, if you haven't already, like this video. It takes two seconds and it's very beneficial, not only for me, but also to help find people, which is my ultimate goal. And second, subscribe. If this is the first time you're seeing me, don't subscribe now. My only rule for subscribing is I want you to watch a couple, that way you're committed to uh, getting better, tips, tricks, things like that. I don't want that off the cuff thing, you know. It's, we're in for a long haul here, okay? And we all kind of piggyback off of one another to help, okay? So, and uh, other than that, comment, like I said, let me know how you're doing, let, let me know uh, what's going on in your world. I love to have you guys as part of my day, which is why I do these, and I love to hear from you, okay? So if you do comment, just know that I do read them. And uh, I, don't comment, I don't comment back on every single one. Most of the time it's because they're statements. Um, and because there's a lot. But I do my absolute best and I very much appreciate it. So, today's topic. Uh, I wanted to express to you how very, very important this is that when you look at somebody else who is on an anxiety journey, whether that's through the Aaron's Anxiety Family page on Facebook, uh, if you're not part of that, already check it out, uh, or if it's right here on uh, the Anxiety Channel, or if you're looking at me and you're seeing my story, if you're going back in my videos and seeing my progression, my, the, the, the people that have been subscribed for, you know, what, what I consider to be like the day one people, the people that kind of rode this journey with me, uh, you know, they'll be the first to tell you that I personally have come a long, long way. You know what I mean? I, you can just, I mean, I had a video where I went back and I looked at my other video, my like my first couple videos, and I thought I was doing good at the time, but I was tired, and I mean, I looked tired, and I just looked drained, and I just looked not good. I was not in a good place, but I thought I was, okay? So it isn't until now that I'm like, wow, yeah, I'm not there anymore, and I'm so thankful for that. So, let me just say that my journey, your journey, whoever's journey that you find is going to be different, okay? And here's the thing. You can't expect your body to react exactly like somebody else's. Now, we can exchange, hey, did you have this symptom while you were going through it? Yeah, I did, or no, I did it, but I've heard of that before. Um, and that's all fine and dandy. Um, 
but just know that if somebody's progressing faster or slower, don't look at them as if, oh, why not me, okay? Because I, there's, Jordan Peterson is a guy, that he's been on the Joe Rogan podcast, he's been on a couple different things, and whether you love him or hate him, he's got a lot of good uh, uh, things that he says. And one of the things that he tells people is that uh, if you're going down the road in your car, we have a tendency to look at the guy in the, you know, the red Porsche sports car, and he's whoa, driving down, and you think, wow, he's so lucky. Wow, why can't I be in a red sports car? I'm in my 92 Honda Civic, and it's several different colors. There's a decent chance we all have problems in our lives. You know, there's definitely a chance that that guy is driving around in his car thinking, I want to wrap this thing around a pole because I cannot take the stress of what it takes to have this lifestyle. That's a possibility. So maybe not. We don't know. But it, the grass always looks greener on the other side is basically what I'm trying to say. Okay, so don't don't sit around and think about how everybody else is doing. It's good to take that information in, uh, in but don't dwell on it. Okay, don't go, oh, well, Aaron was uh, pretty much back on top of it in three months and it's been three months and three days and I'm not exact, exactly where I want to be and blah, 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 blah. Your body's going to take a little time. Here's the, here's the crazy thing, folks. There's people on this channel, okay? I know because they comment and they check up and they think, and, and they, they kind of contact me that they didn't have a whole lot of side effects when they started taking any of the SSRIs that are out there. Within two weeks, they were on it. They were feeling good. They were back to par. And there's some people that were on it that were only on it for a couple months and then hopped off and they're back at it. And, and, and that is wonderful. And I, and I totally love that. And I love to hear the, those success stories, okay? Uh, but for me, it's going to take a little bit longer. I think for most of us, if we have, you know, this uh, a more... What's the word I'm looking for? A more demanding anxiety. <laughs> That's the best way I can describe it. It's like, oh, I have anxiety. Or, you have anxiety. You know what I mean? There's two different kinds of anxiety. Not to say anyone's better or worse than the other, but you guys will know what I mean. And if you have anxiety, and I mean like panic attacks, tightness of chest, uh, dwelling thoughts, uh, doom thoughts, those are another one, right? Doomsday thoughts, of, dog gonna die, this is never gonna work out. And then <laughs> you live with this, or like for me, I had health anxiety real bad. If you live with this, and then you contact somebody and you say, oh, uh, yeah, I, I, I take Lexapro, or I take Zoloft, or whatever, it's, yeah, I, I have some anxiety, blah, blah, blah. Oh, you do? Oh. I do too. I do. I have anxiety. I'll, I'll feel. I feel a little stress. I feel a little bit of stress. And it's crazy. It's like I just have to. I just have to be with my cat. Watch three Harry Potter movies, and I am good. And I am back. Oh, I'll have a good cry, and I'm just done. <laughs> no offense to those people. But it's kind of. It's kind of hot. It's hot out here for a pant. Like it's tough. When you really have a, a real legit anxiety issue, okay? Not just anxiety, we all have anxiety. It's important to have anxiety. That's what keeps, you know, the tiger in the bush from killing you. But when you can't sleep, when you can't eat, when you can't function in society, when you're afraid to go to work, when you're afraid to get in your car, when you don't want to leave your bedroom, when, you, when all you want is to be left alone and to have as many people around you as possible, all at the same time. It's a weird thought, but that's kind of how it used to be. I remember I used to want to be all by myself, but I wanted to cuddle at the same time. I just want, no, I want to be alone, but I don't want to be alone. It's a struggle in your brain. So it just, not like, like I said, just clarify, I'm not putting down anybody's anxiety, because I definitely feel for everybody, because I don't like anxiety, and I know nobody likes anxiety. But there's definitely different levels of anxiety. And you guys know what I'm talking about. You absolutely, by the time you get to this channel right here, you know what I'm talking about, okay? Because it's bad enough to be like, I need to do something about this. This is bad, <laughs> okay? So, you guys get it. All right, I'm done, I digress. No more, no more for you. So, all right, friends. Uh, 
don't think the grass is always greener on the other side. Be patient. You will get better as long as you keep taking the appropriate steps to better your anxiety situation and to better yourself. The more you better yourself, the better uh, anxiety is going to come down. The stress is going to come down. If you have depression, it's going to kind of pull you out of depression. Uh, if you have depersonalization, bringing this anxiety down. See, all these things, let's keep this in mind, all these things are a product of anxiety. All of them. So if we can get that anxiety down, everything starts to alleviate itself. I used to try to get away from my, my depersonalization, derealization. I used to try to just, what can I do to get rid of this? It wasn't until I combated the anxiety that I figured out how this is going to go away. And it was kind of a byproduct. That's how I figured out that everything is connected to this anxiety situation. I need to process and kill it. Get it gone. <laughs> so, okay, friends, I'm out of here. I will see you guys in the next video, and if you have any questions, please put them in the comments below. Like, comment, subscribe, join us on Aaron's Anxiety. And other than that, I'm Aaron. You're awesome. And I'm going to see you in the next video.